this one feels like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one should Then it was um uh start up hobby that uh, I think we both of us pick up and uh, it seems like there is a bird there then we just shot. Then after shooting it, put it in, in the internet, then uh, the conservative group of uh, UK itself right they came across my picture and they said that uh, the bird is already extinct in UK. Oh. So, in UK? Yes. Oh. So what's the name so of the bird? It's a uh, uh, You guys can check it out over the internet. Okay. okay. Uh, actually, it's quite uh, rare as well uh, over in Malaysia. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, you, you guys, if I say you guys wanted to sell any pictures, which is uh, uh, what they are hunting for, right? It's better to put on Flickr. Flickr, okay. Yes, because uh, that particular uh, work website itself, right, there's more of those potential buyers. Uh. You create your own account there. Once they are interested, they will PM you, then they will they'll ask you whether you, you want to give them the picture or not. Only birds? Uh, not only birds, animals as well. Scenery. Yeah. Those rare sceneries, maybe like, uh, for example, eclipse of the sun, moon, or whatsoever. Yeah, they were the meal. This one is the one I got it. Wow. Uh, year 2001. Well, yeah, at first I started off with um, you know, buying handphones and I feel that uh, you know, chasing with technology itself is kind of like wasting money. Yeah. So instead I, I grabbed one uh, camera and I started off uh, camp, uh, playing out with camera and take it as a serious hobby from there on. Yeah. The best place I've ever visited uh, is Pahang. Pahang is the best place for birding and everything. Well, Bukit Tinggi is one of the favorite places. Uh, another one would be Genting Thailand. Frankly <laughs> speaking, I just saw off that only one picture. But I took, I take it as a hobby, so I'm not pushing myself to actually sell for any picture. So if, when you come across uh, people who want it, then uh, if I say it's for public uh, beneficial, well, usually I give it away for three years. Because of the camera, um, basically, if I say a normal setup like this, right, will cost around market price around 50, 50,000. Yeah, it's about 10 to 12 kilo, depending on the setup. So you carry it along? Yes, there's a way to carry it as well. You see, uh, when we carry camera, uh, the tripod is open. Make sure the, the, the tripod is uh, actually lower than the shoulder. So when we pick it up, uh, one hand is here. So it's like above ground, so you can walk. So you can walk. When this happens, uh, this uh, effect itself uh, actually will reduce the weight because uh, it's uh, distributing the Thank weight you. of the lens to the camera uh, to the front and back of the shoulder. So actually you don't feel so uh, hectic carrying it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If uh, a lot of people who, who take pictures uh, and they want to carry heavy gears, right, they, they are not uh, into burning for long uh, and they carry it like this. You are carrying it like this, right? Then uh, all the weight uh, will be hit point on your shoulder. So every time when you reach home, you see uh, there's a blue black there. Quite often, I see people carrying it. Correct. Provided if your gear is lightweight, like those smaller cameras. But for big cameras, uh, you should be carrying it the other way, just not like shoulder. Because uh, it distributes the weight uh, to uh, both sides. So you won't feel the. the so it's like you carrying around? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Very nice. If, if you, well, if I say we travel into jungle, right, small path, uh, it's very hard for you, for you to travel this way. Very hard. So you just keep on moving. Mm. You, you use the central leg as a walk uh, uh, or, or you, you keep, yes, keep, right. keep uh, shorten the... Uh, no, actually, there's another trick. Uh, when, if I say there's a uh, high beam, right. you need How to do back drop. Yeah, but this one has a lot. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just push it up, or if not, you can just push it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. go flat up. Yeah, yeah. But uh, sometimes, like... for people like me, I would have another problem. Three bunches coming down. Mm, 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 mm. Three bunches down. So I have to, I have to go down. <laughs> oh, the, this camera is above. Yeah, above my head. You, you, you so I to... Yeah, I have to keep it up. This way. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
around that market price. Yeah, but mine is actually full mode version, uh, so it costs less. Uh, how, how often do you change? The camera, <laughs> yes, I changed before, uh, but not the lens, the lens is very expensive. Mm. Uh, a new one will cost around uh, 20, 27. New one, new lens. Is it a Nikon, right? Yes. Yours is uh, 200 to 500 or 150? No, this is 500 mm. 600 mm will cost you around 34,000. 600 mm. The camera costs around, uh, if let's say, yeah. then like ma market price the last time I bought, right, it's around, uh, the camera itself, okay. not the battery, but it's around okay. a few thousand, 6,000, 7,000. Mm. Then uh, together with the card, everything is around near to 10k easily. Okay. No, no, you use Sometimes you do not have any battery charger, at least we have a spare, spare one. Yeah. Yeah.